Hello, Dr. David Culler here with Synergy Wellness in New York City to discuss chondromalacia patella. Now, chondromalacia patella is also known as runner's knee. It's a condition where the cartilage underneath the patella or your kneecap deteriorates and softens. This condition is common among young athletes and may also occur in older adults who have arthritis of the knee. Chondromalacia is often seen as an overuse injury in sports and sometimes taking a few days off from training can produce just perfect results. But in other cases, improper knee alignment is the cause and simply resisting or resting, resisting from any kind of exercise or activity is not going to provide relief. So uh, the symptoms of runner's knee are obviously knee pain and grinding sensations, but many people who have it never seek medical attention. And one of the main causes um, is improper alignment of the feet, just being flat footed. So having a, a correct uh, foot and gait assessment done and having correct pair of uh, orthotics that'll correct all three arches is important. Improper kneecap movement may result from not only flat footedness, but um, poor alignment due to a congenital condition or weak hamstrings and quadriceps, which are the muscles in the back and the front of your thighs respectively. Muscle imbalance between the adductors, which are also uh, hamstrings, and abductors, the muscles on the outside and the inside of the thigh. So repeated stress to your knee joints as well, such as uh, running or skiing or jumping, or a direct blow or trauma to your kneecap. Uh, your doctor typically will look uh, for areas of swelling or tenderness in your knee and they may also look at how your kneecap aligns with your thigh bone. Your doctor may even apply some pressure to the uh, extended kneecap to determine you know, the severity of tenderness and um, afterwards to help aid in diagnosis or grading. Um, Physicians sometimes will send you out for um, a few tests, like an x-ray. The x-ray will show us if there's any bone damage or signs of misalignment or arthritis. And then the second test would be an MRI to view the cartilage and view the wear and tear a little bit better. And then lastly, and um, for a reason lastly, is arthroscopic exam where they uh, it's minimally invasive, but they go in there with a scope, an endoscope, a camera into the knee joint. So here are my favorite chondromalacia patella exercises. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you learned anything from this video and click that subscribe button to catch our four weekly videos we put out. Thanks for tubing in. Lie on your back with your elbows supporting your upper body. Place a foam roller underneath your affected knee. Turn your hip on the affected side outwards slightly. At all times keep the heel of this leg in contact with the bed. Push your knee downwards into the foam roller, keeping the heel in contact with the bed. Hold this contraction relax and repeat. Sit with your legs straight out in front of you. Place a small ball against a wall. Put the foot of your affected leg flat up against the ball, with your knee slightly bent. Keep your knee pointing directly upwards. Push the heel of your foot into the ball, trying to straighten your knee. Use the resistance of the ball to push against so you feel the movement. Lie on your back. Bend both knees and place your feet flat on the bed. 
Lift your buttocks from the bed. Place your buttocks back on the bed. Repeat this exercise and remember to continue to breathe properly. Place the strap around your foot and lie face down. Pull on the strap, bringing your heel towards your buttocks, until you feel a stretch in the front of your thigh. Make sure you keep your knees together throughout the stretch. Lie on your back with your affected leg straight and the other leg bent for stability. Turn the affected leg out, tighten the thigh muscles to fully straighten the knee and lift the leg off the bed, keeping the knee completely straight. Hold this position, ensuring the leg is still turned out. Control the movement as you lower the leg back down, and allow it to roll back into the neutral position. Lean up against the wall and place the ball between your knees. Walk your feet forwards, keeping your back and buttocks on the wall. Squeeze the ball between your knees as hard as you can, as you slide down the wall into a squat. Return to the starting position, keeping the pressure on the ball. Place a resistance band around the top of your knees, just above your kneecap. Lunge forward on your good leg with the knee of the back leg slightly bent. Straighten the back knee as much as you can, pulling against the resistance of the band. Control the movement as you ease back off the tension, and then repeat the exercise, straightening the back leg. Keep the front leg in the same position throughout. 